Huh, talking this and that oh, <laughs> But it's real fast Yo, 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 peace, blessings, and love, man. This is Deepo J, I love to see podcast. Shamarco and Dance Show, you already know. <laughs> we at it again, we at it again, we at it again. And it's a silly move, man. We got a lot of good things to cover today. Oh, yeah. You know, same range from BET Awards happened. BET. Speaking of hip hop, look. Messy Dance might come out today. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was reading, oh, some, I was reading some stuff about Cardi. And then, look. Uh-oh. We got some stuff to talk about some gym culture too, man. I gotta put my foot down on some of this gym culture stuff. But look, we got several more topics and so much to talk about. And I'm in a silly mood. I don't know what kind of mood you're in. I'm in a silly mood. We're gonna have us some fun today. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, he could be the angel on the shoulder all he want. Listen to me. I ain't the angel on your shoulder. <laughs> Y'all stay put, man. We got a lot coming. Hey, yay. Yeah. Let's get it. Alright, man. So, we're gonna jump with it. Hot topic, the BET Awards, man. What's up, what's up? Hey, man. <sighs> Y'all gotta do better, bro. I, I just gotta say it. I, Is that I, bad? Man, it was horrible. And let me, I'll say this. It being bad, I know Tyler Perry just bought it, so it's not an indictment on Tyler Perry. I feel oh, like- Shout out Tyler Perry. Yeah, I feel like, you know, like, one, he has the resources, like he has his own funding. He has what he needs to turn it around. Yeah. But so I don't hold this BT award as an indictment against him. Yeah. But yo, it ain't no way they got all our stars together and came out that bad, dog. The sound was horrible. Like, look, okay, you're an artist, right? And I'm saying this because you are an artist. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is your first major performance. Like, this ain't doing club tours. This ain't just doing a track or two at a uh, at a spot. You performing at the BET Awards, your first major jam. Yeah. Right? Shout out to Ice Spice. Shout out to Ice Spice. And, and maybe she maybe she did other performances. I don't follow close enough to know this is my the biggest screen that I've ever seen her on. Her first jam. And imagine, they got your teleprompter off. You can't hear yourself in your ear. They're playing your hook when they're supposed to be playing your actual verse part. So now you're trying to rap over the beat, but you know, like, nah, this is the hook. Like this, like this is the hook part, mm-hmm. and that's your first major performance. Man, walk me through that as the artist. Um, honestly, me personally, um, I think it would be kind of frustrating, you know. But I can see it in both sides, man. Uh, you gotta adjust on the fly. You know, trying to teach an ice spice if she get in another situation, you know how to adjust. Um, but also, like you said, it makes you frustrated because this is a big moment in your life, man. This is history making type stuff, you know, so definitely be frustrated. Um, but everything happens for a reason. I don't know. I I don't take it like I used to be. Is Schmarco at 21? Oh, I'm flipping. You know I'm <laughs> but at my age now, like, I learned to, you know what I'm saying, I'm human, so you still get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? But just be patient. And you know, everything happens for a reason, so. That's how you can take it both ways. That's what I mean. Yeah. Look, I was tripping, right? <laughs> I was tripping. My positivity gonna come later. I ain't know. Uh, I'm maturing. Work with me. Walk with me. <laughs> but no, uh, I was tripping. They had Patty LaBelle up there doing the Tina Turner tribute, right? Rest in peace, Tina. Rest in peace, Tina, uh, peace, Tina Turner. Turner. Oh, and yeah. Patty LaBelle is Patty. Like, oh, yeah. got to do it. That's how I guess. Wait, what's the uh, what's the Lawrence Fishburne look? <laughs> That's all you good. It's in my imagination. Yeah. No. It, and they picked like the right song, everything was dope. But like literally, when I say it was so bad, Patty LaBelle, the Patty LaBelle, is up there. And in mid performance, it's like, yo, y'all took the words off the teleprompter. Disrespectful, man. Hey, I can't see this. The sound is wrong. Like you got the background singers legit singing the hook while she's in the middle of the verse. What song was it? Was it? Everybody no. the same, was it? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember what song. I just want to. Why you keep doing it? Because I told you I'm going to sing. I'm going to hear. Not today. I'm going to hear. We can't do it today. Give me a 10 turn song. 
Oh, if, if, no, it wasn't what love got to do with it. It was um one of the fast ones, man. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I know Tina Turner, but I don't know her music. Rolling. That one? No, I won't rolling. I know that one. Rolling. <laughs> rolling. You let me hang, bro. You're supposed to dance. Uh, all the times we dance together on the couch, you ain't dance with. There you go. But no, whatever song it was, it was one of the bigger ones. Like I said, I know Tina Turner a little bit. My mama used to play a little bit in the house like that. I ain't gonna sit up there and lie to y'all and make it seem like I got her whole discography like that. I just know Tina Turner's one of our greats. And BET, hey look, the best thing about it, matter of fact, here's some positivity. Can't get no worse. It's only up from here. <laughs> like, if it get worse than that, we go into the MTV Awards. Shout out to BET. I want to be on the BET Awards. <laughs> no fact. And as soon as we there, oh, I'm dapping up. Yo. What's up, bro? Hey, look, man. Disregard episode so and so. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> my love language is insults. <laughs> but look, and you know, and another thing about the BET Awards. Yeah. If I'm running it. Yeah. If you're not coming to my award show, you ain't winning no award. Why you say that? Because like, what, like, I think now, now this is like as a consumer. If I'm watching your award show, it ruins the user like consumer experience. Like I'm watching it and you're like, oh okay, Beyonce won for this song. Granted Beyonce's Beyonce, yeah she's on like a world tour. Like she's probably on Saturn like performing yeah. right now. <laughs> like yeah. you know she's her. But like I can't keep giving you awards. Like you know how many people won uh that, at that award show and they have to come out there now. They got the silly stuff saying, oh um yeah sorry, yeah uh, sorry they couldn't be in attendance tonight. And it's like that like this is killing my views killing my rating. I can't keep giving out these awards, and everyone knows how those awards work. You have some empathy, man. No, because I know how those awards work. Like, where it, is she all the way in Paris? Somewhere and you want her to fly? Oh, no, I don't. No, but at Lotto's there. I'm gonna give the award to Lotto, or I'm gonna oh, pick out of the people. Oh, you gotta hey. get the people real bold. That's real life. I got other things to do. Man, go to the Oscars, man. You'll win one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, let me give you a situation. Her daughter's sick. Oh, that's different. No, it ain't. It's the same no, thing. I got but you, but why she gotta explain what she doing? She don't. My point is exactly. But you ain't gotta get an award in my show, hey, You can't. Get, she's the <laughs> best. You can't take that away from them. No, I get that, but it was. I don't know. Just like one, no one there, and I keep giving y'all all these awards. That's because they wrong. won it. The, it's what you heard for the year. You know you what I'm saying? What the the numbers look like? Don't worry. The votes. We're gonna vote on people that's gonna show up. How do you know we're gonna show up? <laughs> Glorilla gonna win everything. She was there. <laughs> and whoever the, uh, what's the, uh, 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 rip me out, uh, what, 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 what the girl say? She, uh, rip me out the, uh, rip me out the plastic, rip me out the package, something. The brand new girl gonna, she gonna win. Over Beyonce? Yup, she there. At my award show. You can't show up. Nobody gonna show because you ain't doing the real. People gonna want to see the real. I'ma tell them, don't worry. Come to my award show, bring your playbook. <laughs> you ain't winning on mine. Lord have mercy. Break my go. Explain that. Look, this is this. I learned something too though. Talking about people winning. So them little cars that they be opening, don't say nothing. It really be like the same car and the teleprompter writes who won. So they had two people who was supposed to say the winner. And the teleprompter was messed up. So they didn't know who won. <laughs> so they just staring at the teleprompter. And this is live TV. Like they're looking at each other, they're looking at the paper. Yes, and you hear Shorty say, like, I don't know who won. Like, what you what we supposed to and they sit there and then they just like cut the commercial. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Like I said, man, look, it can't get no worse. It's only up from here. That's the best thing about hitting the floor. Either you bounce up or you go through it. I mean hopefully y'all bounce. You see you try to get off the other subject. Hey, look. <clears throat> so Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we talking about, Cardi? Well, I know I thought threw Cardi out there because you're trying to catch me. I saw the little trap you played down. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> Quick feet. <laughs> you know how the little the kids, everyone be out here talking about. You know they keep a score. I don't know what score it is. They'd be like City Boys up 100, City Girls up. Hey man, City Girls just hit one from the uh, from from half court. Where you say that? Allegedly, allegedly. Y'all make sure y'all hear that. 
Now, allegedly, uh -oh. Offset might have caught Cardi in a situation. I don't know what happened. I know what people are alleging. You know what I'm saying? Things were done. Shorty got her lick back. No. Hey, look. I know something. The, go quick. No, 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 for real though. I ain't gonna pray like that. Nah, they, uh, she came out with a video on, um, I don't know if she was on the um, Clubhouse Jam. Yeah, she was saying that she ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That she is famous. And I trust them. She, she ain't got no reason to lie. No, you know what? I don't really think she's left with no one either, but her troll game is amazing. Why you say that? Oh my god, she would have, the trolling, the, the trolling alone would have crushed me. Well, she did. She got on the clubhouse jam and was like uh, singing, talking about <laughs> it's not fair that you accuse me of all the things <laughs> that you are guilty of. It's an intro, it's a truth. Yeah, but like, ouch, you ain't had to do that in public. Because you trying to call me out in public. I mean, I get that, but Jay-Z said it best. I was just messing with them girls. I was going to get right back. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, you see, if she was out there messing with him, this is gonna be broken his back. Hey, he, look, he gonna hurt, man. That hey, man ain't losing that girl. No, uh, then she took it to IG and like, and she re like she redid a picture that he did when it came out that he cheated on her, and uh, that's, that's, and she like redid the picture with her same caption and everything, and it was like, yo, she cold blood. No, and okay, she probably hurt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta play with something safe. Yeah, you turned it wrong. That's funny. Good love on his wife. Yeah, because I'll cry. I'll be hurt. Like, I. Sh what was wrong? No, first off, you know what I'm saying? First off, I'll set one of my favorite artists. That. To get that right. But he shouldn't have went to social media with that, man. Yeah. That's something you keep in the house. Like, that's how I move. I know that's how he move. He probably just. It hurt. He worked off impulse, you know? And, um. Uh, Next time, man, don't do that, man, because your girl control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And, and she's more famous than you, dog. No, <laughs> <laughs> so her buzz going to be a little different. You know what I'm saying? Also, one of my favorite rappers, bro. No real talk. Like, the way I flow and stuff, kind of like, I, I like his flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for real, though, keep your business in the house, man. Or wherever you put your private place, you know? Don't put stuff on social media, man. The world doesn't, I need to know none of it. I know it hurt, and uh, people do express themselves on social media, man. I don't think that's, man, we all done it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to T I'm um, literally pointing the blame on somebody or trying, somebody I love, nah, man. Yeah. I'm gonna protect her, me, whoever it is, and that's how you should move it. That's probably why she was hurt. Yeah. Cause you know she's Cardi B, so when you put stuff out there, it's big. Yeah, that's big business at hand. Yeah. And while I was making the jokes and all that, I do while we talking about Offset on a positive note, it seems as though him and Quavo pieced it up, and yeah. I think that's big. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? Both of them. Take off, man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Take, take off, man. R.I.P. Take off. And both of them, you know, I, who can only imagine how both of them feel? Cause them boys were like brothers more than Mama. Positive. Yeah. <laughs> Where it was, it was dope seeing that they pieced it up, and at least from the outside looking in, it seems as though they pieced it up. And while we were making the jokes, well, I was making the jokes. Yeah, y'all was trying to put we, I don't know. But you. Hey, look. Do, 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 do. I ain't gonna get us in big trouble. Hopefully. I ain't playing with Cardi B. She be suing. Yeah, yeah, nah. She nah. be suing people don't got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. <laughs> nah. Zero. But you know, hopefully whatever it is, y'all bring it back in house and shout out to you and Quavo for whatever conversation had to happen, back doors, behind the doors anyway, for y'all to piece that up. It's a good look and the world needed to see that. So like shout out to y'all. Shout out to him. It's a big move. Mama <laughs> <laughs> What's the next topic, man? Hey look. I saw something, right? Doom scroll, you know what I'm saying? My thumb just working. Just scroll. <laughs> Doom scroll. <laughs> just, 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 just gone. Right. Chasing the dopamine, just looking for it. Looking for something that's gonna make me laugh. And I saw a video. And it's not that the video is funny. The guy, his reaction to what he did makes it hilarious. So what he didn't do. <laughs> so he broke in like some kind of camp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the camp is for, you know, something I, 
I don't know if the, the whole camp was for disabled kids or something, but like the, the little kid that was uh, that was playing, like they were doing whatever game, and she she won. She scored the goal. And we love all people too. And we do. We oh. love everybody. I'm making fun of dude, not the kid. Yeah. But the kid actually, the kid actually like performed the task and like like knocked it out, and it was yes. dope. And the dude, he had got like so excited that like she did it that he was like bam clapping. He was on his knees and he went to give her a high five. And the little girl had an arm. And so he panicked and was like up. Oh. So he put the other arm up to try to high five the other hand. Duh. God forgive me. <laughs> and she ain't have she ain't had no arms. Man. And then he was sitting there That's messy. on his knees. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. red as a basket of strawberries. And the video cut. Yeah. So with that being said, <laughs> okay. because I think that dude, you know, he struggled to read the room. And now he a fool. No, man. No. <laughs> no, man. That's, that's a sad situation, man. Like, for real. That's it <laughs> is. It's, it's super sad. No, but that's embarrassing for both of them, you know? Yeah. Um, dang. Yeah. We love all people. We do. <laughs> and to make sure everyone comfortable. You want me to go for What's the moment where you didn't read the room? Oh. <laughs> where you got caught? <laughs> Man, like I said, I love all people repeat one more time. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't like to disrespect nobody. But, <laughs> yo, it was in high school. We used to go to CC's Pizza's. Thursday night, the day before game, right? Friday night is here. And one night, we go in there, and it was like, they were sitting at a table, like, basically, my, my, I think I'm facing this way, and they had the next table over, and we had the little things you slide into, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I'm, I'm eating my pizza, but I'm looking, you know, you're just observing the room. I just see this small head, so I'm like, dang, who this bitch baby? It look young with a baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looking young. Bro, so I get up to use the bathroom. God forgive me, dog. God forgive me. <laughs> and it was like a man, grown man, but his head was like, <laughs> no, I'm big, see, big, I'm big, I'm big. And like, you know how you try, and you know how you try to, and you know how you try to just walk past and not like, oh, <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had that mess. And so, <laughs> you get back to the table and you tell your friends, and guess what everybody started doing? Look at me looking. <laughs> laughing, bro. Dog. Like, I think, what's that called? Is that like a, um, no, his head, like, he grown man, but like, his head was like. I don't, I know what I want to say, but that ain't the right answer. That ain't no medical term. Bro, no disrespect <laughs> to that man. No, bro, I never seen that in my life. It was like off like the man in black type. Oh man, I was gonna say a group of trooper. <laughs> no, no, no. No, but no, man. Like, that scared it, it more scared me and shocked me. Like, you know, something is a real baby, because all you can see is the back of the head. And you know your homeboy, they got a little she's like, okay, you ain't seeing the whole head. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm he was talking. He got like he was talking a little. I said, oh my god. But no, that that was a shocking moment for me. Like, oh, caught me off guard. Well, I ain't think nobody hit me that small. No, a grown person. Like, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit was. A <laughs> I love all people. As I repeat again. Thanks. <laughs> they just caught me off guard. They caught me off guard. Like, quick, bro. Hey, oh man, the immature side of me. Oh man. Hey, look, I got one for you. Oh lord. Hey, and you, I mean, y'all see my personality. I'm the kind of person. I it might not be done maliciously, but I more than had my fair share of putting my foot in my mouth, banging my head against the wall, and just come with the territory, right? But again, like. I love all people. And it all comes from a good place. So I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing a charity event. Volunteer Jane Bob in the military. Right? Nice little event. Everything's going good. I didn't really read the room 
and to deflect a little bit, like, they didn't really tell me what we was doing. I was really trying to get an EPR bullet. So I was like, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the community, I'm doing the right thing, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to balance my, my little stuff out, right? So this is, again, I'm younger, so I'm way more of a hothead. I don't really play, you know, I ain't over tough, but like, don't don't mess with me either. Like, I'm mind to mind, if you chilling, I'm chilling, just don't mess with me. Yeah, real, that's real. So we doing the event, and I don't know why buddy keep looking at me like this. So, you know, like when you catch someone looking at you and you like, all right, like y'all done made like eye contact. We done did the, I feel like you good. Yeah, like, you know, like three seconds is all like the staring you really need. It's like, do I know you? No, I don't know you. And look away. Three seconds. And really that's flirting with the line because if you hit that four seconds, someone gonna say, you all right? You good? <laughs> like, you straight? Like, and, and it ain't none of the good ways of saying that. <laughs> so. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, they're, they're, he's not offering you nothing. And if he is offering you something, it's probably hands. <laughs> so, I was like, man, buddy, like, and I felt like, you know what I'm saying, like, we keep, like, making eye contact and looking. I'm like, dang, like, I, and I don't, like, did, like, look away. I don't try to be, like, because we in this event, like, I tried to be professional. Professional. I'm like, all right, like, I don't look away. And it finally hit me. And I'm like, all right, fam, like, like, I can't take this no more. I said, I ain't gonna make a spectacle, but I'm about to pull a buddy to the side. I'm about to, you know, somebody go holler at him. Like, like, I'm like, like, we, like, do I need to be on guard? Like, we all right? Like, you think you know me or something? Yeah. So I walked over there and was like, yo. And he was like, hmm, he kind of look. <laughs> and I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know each other something? Like, we all right? Like, you know, you keep looking at me. Oh, no. Oh, man, you know where I'm about to go with this. Oh, Lord. Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Buddy said, Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm actually blind. I can't really see. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just looking. Is <laughs> that not mean anything by it? We love all people. <laughs> oh, no. I went from feeling like all old and walking over there, like yo, I'm about to put. You know, I said if Buddy answered this wrong, we can hit, we gonna hit the power button on the blender right here. We love all people. We do, man. Hey, blind man. I went over there feeling this big, and when he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, like you know, I didn't mean it anyway. I'm blind, like I, Damn. I can't see." And I was like, "Oh, I felt this big." I'd have changed my whole name. What's your name? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, no, I." Do you need anything? You know, you, you know, like you know, once you're embarrassed yourself, you get like over apologetic. Like you, you well, are, are you straight? Yeah. Like, what you need? Like yeah. you thirsty? Like you? The blind man. Yeah, blind man. And the whole time, I'm talking about not reading the room. And there was a reason why I wasn't really saying what the event was. Me jumping in this situation, not doing my due diligence, we were actually helping like the school of the deaf and blind, doing sports and doing military stuff like oh, that. Didn't read the room at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only one pulled up to the school of the blind and not know that. About the beef with the blind, man. Yeah. Bro. And it could have been Daredevil. Like, I, I could have been playing with fire. Like he could have, his senses could have been heightened, yeah. and he could have, man, he could, he <laughs> tore me up in there. But yeah, so hey, look, one, always learn to read the room. Don't just blindly sign up for things. And also, that how I felt that moment also allows me to give other people that grace and humility. Yeah, really. I'm gonna laugh at you because people should have laughed at me. They did laugh at me, and I was the running joke for like the next six months. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, and I deserved it. I was going. I was going. I wanted some smoke, low key. I wanted to beef with the blind man. I ain't know you were blind. Ain't no one tell me. Mm. Like you know, military is all about orders. Ain't no one give me orders that people's gonna be blind. It ain't my fault. That's me deflecting. Now. I don't get out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, look, man. Y'all make sure y'all read the room. Pay attention to what you got going on. And we love all people. And we love all people. All. All. <laughs> Even the blind. The blind. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, oh. What time it is? It's time for the suffering. Turn it To the lessons. And lessons turn to the? Blessings. You already know. Suffering turn to lessons. Let's turn to blessings time. Let's tap in, man. So, the topic I wanted to uh, kind of touch on, and 
definitely for the youth, definitely with a lot of the current events going on. Anybody can really receive this message, but um, definitely the youth. Because, you know, maybe someone hasn't told you all this, maybe someone has, and maybe we're reiterating it to you. But what kind of landed on my heart, I wanted to talk to these people about standing in your blessing or standing in your calling before it's too late. That's real. You know, I think so many times people will, you know, at the end result, people will get mad with God in the sense, and I've been that person. You know what I'm saying? I've been that person where it's kind of like, I didn't know that I used the ball to slack in the rope, and now that the rope finally snapped, I'm like, man, and you got real, and this is that, how this happened, this and that, this, yeah. and I'm mad. When it was like, bro, I done gave you chance after chance after chance to prove that you're different, to prove that you're not the person that you keep, you know, when you, because you know, when you want to change, you're always talking about the change, but you ain't changing. It sound good, and then as soon as everyone turned, at least for me, as soon as everyone turned their back, I was the same old person. I just got better at hiding it, you know, until I really hit that wall. So, uh, you know, the, the importance of it, like you said, man, everybody's wall is different. And you don't want to be that person who, you know, like, your wall could be the ultimate wall. And don't wish that on nobody. Your wall could be, you know, 10, 15 years from a situation because you didn't want to stand in your blessing. Like, it's okay to be different. And it took me a while, like, you know, like when I was younger, and this is like me kind of tying my story into yeah. it, definitely when I was younger, for as good as I was in sports, for as smart as I was and as confident as everybody really thought I was, like, I didn't want to exercise any of my gifts. All I wanted to do was be like everybody else. I got tired of the phone calls, huh? I got tired of everyone used to say, man, you different, man, you different. Like, no, that's why they on you. Like, I don't want to be different. Yeah. I want to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to skip school and no one call my mom, <laughs> call my daddy, because <laughs> I'm going to get whooped on. <laughs> my buddies just get skipped. You know what I'm saying? They just out there, like, you know, no one care. And I'm like, man, like, like, you know, like, I just want to, I just want to feel like I could just be one of the guys. And, like, and this isn't down on anybody, you know what I'm saying, that was in any chapter of my life. Like, it took me a long time to learn, like, I'm not supposed to be any of them. Like, I was supposed to be different early on, and I don't want to change anything about the story because I had to go through all of my suffering. suffering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all of my suffering, I had to go through that to get me to this point to where I'm at mentally. And there's still going to be new chapters of suffering that goes on in this series of my 30s. That by the time I'm 40, I look back and be like, oh man, like, you know, like I'm, I'm so glad that I, you know, I'm so glad that I, I, I've learned from, you know, these lessons. I'm so glad I ain't thinking the same way I was at 21, at 31, because I would have really messed all this up. But, you know, but tying back into that story, like, you know, with the things that I'm kind of okay with sharing, Definitely. there were so many situations that were supposed to end so much worse. I got boys doing so much time. I got boys who, you know what I'm saying, rest their soul. And all I wanted to do was be with them. I was willing to give up everything unique about me to be in that crew. Like, to the point of like, you know, I, you know, I done said it, you know, you call, always call me a genius. Yeah, I was, school was so easy. My senior year, I'm, I dropped all my college level courses <laughs> so that I could chill with the guys. <laughs> I went to when I went to JMU. I was already uh, I was already getting ready to start my sophomore year academically. Mm -hmm. But I gave all that up. And I was like, Nah, bro. I'm just trying to like yeah, bro, I'm trying to I'm trying to chill. No, no. <laughs> no, no. And I mean, I'm grateful that I did make everything harder for myself because it got me to now. That's a blessing. And I'm blessed that you know a lot of my mistakes where they could have been worse, man. Like there's there's so many things I've done that I should not be sitting right here. God, you good. know. All the time, <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. I want to. I want to hear you touch on that too, because I, I know this is something that is pat. I'm passionate about that. I want people to, like, you know, like, I just want to give you so much rope, but I don't want to talk everyone to death. I want to hear from you. What's up? What you want to hear? What you want to hear? I want to hear, man. Like, what you got to? What you got to tell the people on this? To walk in your calling, your yeah. blessing. Yeah. Um, let me see, man. Truly, uh, I want to. 
pick up piggyback off of um what you were saying with um you said you gonna go home and get whooping and uh they not. Yeah. You know, and no, it's not about what I'm about to say, but it's just I wanted to reiterate it, but you know, I feel like in that situation, you know, them kids probably wish they did. Because yeah. if they did, it wouldn't be the way they are. You know? Yeah. So just me to say walking your purpose is not really not a story. It's basically like doing what you love, you know? Uh that's walking in your calling, that's walking in your purpose, that's taking on all your gifts and talents. You may not you know, I asked the young kids today, what's they why? They like nine years old. They really they didn't they already know they why. They know they love sports or they love doing this or that. You know, and the biggest thing is me, I always say this, anything I do in my life, I do it because I love it. I can't do nothing else. And I feel like that's walking into your calling, into your blessing. You know, uh, people always say all the time, oh, I hate this job, I hate this. You hate this job because it's not your calling. Maybe it's taking you to your calling. You know what I'm saying? It's a place, it's a place where you got to learn a lesson to be able to get to where you need to be going, you know? But that's how I put it in life, man. When I say suffering turn lessons, less turn blessings, that's what is walking into your calling, man. Like, I always tell y'all, be careful what you pray for because God gonna give it to you, but it's not on the, the course you think you're going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We we had these we had these dreams and you know, what's a deja vu and seeing ourselves this far, like those are glimpses of what you can be, but you gotta take on this course step by step to learn these blessings to be able to get there. You know? And that's walking into calling for me. Like I don't really got a, a story besides, you know, um, my senior, going into my senior year, you know. Um, I told people, like, you know, that was like one of my worst. Before that year, it was like everything was going down here. You know, uh, lost my parents nine months apart. Shoot, I got to grow up fast and take care of my little brothers. I should have got a son on the way. Later on, come down the line, you know what I'm saying? But I remember breaking my pinky first, it was the last week of camp, or last, oh, something like that. I caught a pig, but my finger caught in the grass. But I remember mean, I wanted to just, my homeboys wanted to go eat, I'm like, no, I'm just gonna walk, you know? And I went there and prayed to God, you know? Asked him his football for me, show me, you know what I'm saying? And he gave me a glimpse of my dream, you know? And, uh, I ain't gonna tell the whole story because it's too long. <laughs> but basically, man, he showed me a glimpse and uh, you gotta be present to understand those things, man. Like, deja vu is not for no reason. Deja vu is just God showing you a glimpse that you're gonna be in the future. Think about it. Think about that. When you have deja vu, then you get in a situation like, damn, I seen this shit before. Because God already gave you that pace, so why are you stressing in the present moment? And that's walking to your car, man. Being grateful every day. And doing something that you love every day, you know what I'm saying? Challenging yourself. So I know I was long, but that's that's real. Like that's all I've done. I'm not no different than nobody else, you know. Um, I just was just a young kid that had a vision, had a dream, had a goal. Got to put it on my mind, and it was eating at me every day. I wasn't putting work in, and that's what is getting to your calling, man. You got to eat at you so mad that man, yeah, ah. I'm gonna do whatever it take, man, until it gets out. You know, you got that thing sitting on your chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got like in a situation and you got that anxiety sitting on your chest and you're trying to release it. It's like that every day, you know what I'm saying? You got up days, down days, but I learned this process, man. Them down days ain't down days, they're just lessons of God just giving you rest. You know what I'm saying? That's how you take it, man, so. I'm good, I ain't gonna say nothing else no more, man. Oh, no, that's impactful, man. No, for real though, because it's the truth, bro. Like, Grind until you get that weight off that chest. Like, that, that's my mentality. It, it, it's nothing else, bro. Like, for real. Like, that anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get that anxiety shit every day. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes me hungry, you know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. We all not perfect. But shit, if I want something, I'm gonna go get it, bro. Like, I got fears to conquer too, you know what I'm saying? Bro. So, y'all not alone. So, that's how you walk into your calling, man. Pray to God. 
to help you and give you strength, you know what I'm saying? Give them all the glory to everything and strive, man. You gotta be able to walk through that suffering and have that fucking faith. People think, everybody say the faith uh, of a mustard seed. Niggas don't have that. Cause one thing go bad, everybody give up on God. Ask God why. And I ain't gonna lie, I was on that side yeah. before too. I was. But then he sent me in through another suffering situation that molded me and brought me closer to him. And I'm still going close to him. I'm not perfect, but he's making me understand. Like, well, I'm putting it right in your face. The reason you ungrateful, you being down, you all that, that's why you can't see it. You're so stuck in your head. You gotta look right in front of you, see what's standing right in front of you, man. It'd be easy to get to. That's all it is, bro. Like, anything that's right there in this moment, take advantage of it, man. Cherish it, value it. And that's why you're walking your calling, man. That's how you find your true purpose. Yo, man. Man, sorry for talking to you. Don't, don't apologize. No, that's greatness. Oh, love, man. But man, we give you this game because we want to see y'all do better. I know we all make mistakes. You know, we can be just for greatness. Like you know, we are. We're striving to be. You know, there's no limit. Like we are limited kings and queens out here, man. This is Deepo G L L C podcast and Shamar going dead. And we out. Peace, peace, blessings and love. You gotta hold.